In this video, we'll look at calculating probabilities using the normal distribution with an online calculator. In the resources menu, click on the link for the online calculator. There it is. You see, it has two basic functions. We can find the area from a value of the random variable, or we can find a value of the random variable from an area. We'll first try finding an area. In each case, you need to specify the mean and standard deviation. We'll use problems from the textbook as examples. In this problem, we have the mean is 54, and the standard deviation is 8, stated there. Right. I'm going to find the probability that x is greater than 56. That would be above 56. So select above, put in 56, and hit recalculate. And you have the area given at the bottom, and then a graph showing the area shaded to the right of 56. For 51, find the probability that x is less than 30. And then we select below, and put in 30, and hit recalculate. Here, the area is so small that it's hard to see on the graph but it is shaded to the left of 30 and you can see we have a small number for the area. Now let's find the probability that x is between 30 and 56. Select between, put in the smaller number on the left and the larger number on the right and hit recalculate. Or we can do outside so go outside, it'll do less than 30, and outside it'll be greater than 56. So we have the area shaded on the right, and we also have the area shaded on the left. And it's going to add those two together. Put in a 35. There we go. So we can see it adding those two together. All right, that's finding the area or probability from values of the random variable. We can also find the value of the random variable for a specified probability. To that, select value from an area. Again, you have to put in the mean and standard deviation. Let's stick with the same example, 54 and 8. Uh, let's look at 52. Find the 80th percentile. We specify the area as a decimal would be 0 0.8. And percentile refers to an area below or less than the value of the random variable. So select below and should calculate that. So the area shaded there is 80 percent of the total area and you can see that line is drawn right at 60.732. Now you can also find the area above. Say you wanted to find the top 5 percent in a certain population. You can specify the area to be 0.05 and then calculate the top 5% is marked off by everything greater than 67.162. Sometimes we want to find the middle 90%. We can put in 0.9 and then put in between. And there's the middle 90%. So the area there is shaded is 0.9. Similarly, we can find the set the area on the outside. Maybe we want to look at the outside being I don't know, um, well, 10%. And that gives us, of course, the same values, because if 90% is in the middle, then 10% is on the outside. So you see that we can specify a mean and standard deviation, and then either provide an area above, below, between, or outside, or values of the random variable above, below, between, and outside, and we can, of course, have the calculator tell us the unknown.